Hello everybody, this is Yusuf and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to have another Persian dish and uh, that's going to be Resh de Polo, which is roasted noodle rice. Before I go over that and talk about it, let's see that I, I have to tell you that I uh, have a little bit of technical problem, which is my usual microphone is not working. So we have might have a little bit of the uh, problem with the sound. So I apologize for that. But let's talk about Resh de Polo, which this food is not everyday food and they making it for occasion the occasion is a in our custom they make it the last wednesday of the year or our new year eve although the traditional is rice and a fish which i already made that you have another video you can go and take a look at it how to make sabzi polo with mahi which is a fish and a herb rice and also cuckoo sabzi so this one is I'm making it because I already as I said I made those but at the same time my mother and my uh, mother-in-law they love this food and this food it could be made with the f uh, meat or without some people they use the ground meat some people they use a uh, chicken you know a slice of the chicken breast or tender or none of those just the uh, polo itself or with the uh, dates and raisin so uh, again as i said you know we already have all those things that is originally they make it for the new year so i decided to make this version and let's go over the ingredients and start making it by the way happy noodles everybody all right let's uh, go over the ingredients here i have three cups of rice this is the basmati rice i already washed it cleaned it i do have uh, one pound or 500 gram of the ground beef and i do have about one cup of raisin i do have some liquid saffron i have two onion some cooking oil one teaspoon salt one teaspoon black pepper two teaspoon turmeric half a teaspoon cinnamon and i have about 250 gram of roasted noodle these are a special uh, they have it in Iranian store or Arabic store so if you don't have the roasted you have to uh, buy the regular one and roast it yourself so just a little bit of oil in a pan and for a few minutes roast it. so what I want to start it with is with the onion I'm gonna slice this and saute that and we are going to do this first and i'm gonna put it aside then we go for the grinding the other onion for mixing with the meat so these are being sliced thinly like this so you have a pan ready and i put a little bit of the oil on it and it's ready to take this over there and start sauteing them let's go and start sauteing this okay my other onion is going to be grind for the meat so i'm going to do that and try to make the take the juice out of it and add it to the meat and uh, then mix them together with a little bit of the salt and a pepper and a little bit of turmeric and uh, start making it a very small meatball all right um, now 
you have to try to take the most of the juice out of it like this or you can put it in a cheesecloth and push it to all the juice goes away so that's that for me that that's gonna work okay I throw this away and uh, gonna mix the meat with it all right I took most of the juice out of it so it's ready to mix with the meat so gonna mix them together right here I need to put some of our salt and black pepper just some of our turmeric the rest of them I keep it for our onion and when it's mixed together totally then we're going to make it a small meatball all right to making a meatball I have a little bit of water I put it in my hand and take a little bit the size should be something between you know uh, walnut and hazelnut not too big not too small so that's the size that I'm gonna make so this is right size all right after I finish all those things by the time probably my uh, onion saute is done and I start as uh, uh, sauteing these meatballs so let's go and finish this first All right, our meatballs are done and is ready to be cooked and saute. Let's go and check on our uh, onion to see how they doing. All right, this is uh, coming very well. A few more minutes. Okay, and if all are golden, then I'm gonna add the raisin for a maybe an hour out uh, an hour <laughs> for one minute i saute the raisin with it and then we're gonna put this aside till our rice is ready so just needs another two or three more minutes then i add the raisin let me go and bring the raisin get it ready okay i, I guess it's a time to add the, before I add the raisin, a little bit of the turmeric uh, to it. So here we go. Gives us such a wonderful color to it. And wonderful aroma so it's a time for our raisin to be added okay I guess that's enough so before I just put it aside I'm gonna add a little bit of our saffron in this one also here we go all right <clears throat> this is done just take this out and put it aside and then start cooking our meatball okay I'm gonna use the same uh, uh, skillet because there's so much of the uh, taste to it so I don't want to change it 
so uh, also there is some oil so it's not gonna waste so I'm gonna use the same thing and start cooking our meatballs Okay, let me go wash my hand and come back. Okay, while our meatball is cooking, let's start making our rice. As I said, I wash this rice and gonna add to the water and start cooking it. Uh, if the rice is really Iranian, Persian rice, usually people they wash it and put the salt with a little bit of water on top of it and let them soak for as long as 12 hours two three four or overnight but since these are mostly from Kashmir and India there is no need for it because it cooks very fast and it's very easy so in Iranian rice they boil the water then they add the rice into that. On this one, you don't have to. If you have the boiling water, that's fine. Otherwise, just add the washed uh, rice and put it in the water. But you remember, you put plenty of salt into the water because we are going to drain them, the water, and uh, wash the excess of the salt. Now you're probably going to ask, what happened to the noodles? The <laughs> noodles are going to go to rice when it's about to be ready for drain the water. So when they start boiling, probably takes another seven to eight minutes after start boiling. Then we that's the time is ready. Before that, one or two minutes before we drain the water, we add the noodles. Our meatballs are done and it's ready, but we have to wait till our rice is ready. Okay, so I'm just going to put it aside till our rice is ready. See you then. All right, this, <clears throat> as you look at it, it's been boiling, it's been doing it for, you know, just last four or five minutes. And uh, also when is it, all the rice are floating and coming up, that's, that's the time. So it's two more minutes after that, you can uh, rinse it and drain it and rinse it. But so we have to, right here we have noodles. So two minutes before we do that, we're just gonna add these noodles to it. And uh, so just gonna cut it in a three pieces. And let them soak and cook together. Another couple of minutes. <laughs> it's kind of weird food noodle with the rice <laughs> but it's good it's interesting okay it's been about two minutes that the noodles are in the rice and it's a time to drain the rice and the water and just wash it with the fresh water For just putting back the rice into the pan, just put about like a five or six uh, tablespoon water, and because we need the steam to be a steam cook, and about the same amount of oil, 
just uh, heat a little bit to just try to mix them together then I do have something uh, that I'm gonna put on the bottom just some people like me you know like the it's not part of the dish but always you can use that for any kind of rice so I'm gonna put the uh, a slice of potato so it's going to become crispy and very nice which I love that so that's what I'm going to do then I add the rice and the, the rest of the mixture together I also like to put a little bit of our saffron in the bottom to give a wonderful color when I add those potatoes it's going to be nice looking so okay so we're gonna add start with the rice and a noodle on the bottom so many carbs okay now <coughs> some of these meatballs Some of our raisin and onion. Here comes our cinnamon. Also a little bit of the cinnamon here. And a little bit of our saffron. into the mixture and we are going to repeat the same thing so here goes the rice and we are going to repeat the same thing put our meatballs in the middle All right, this is the final touch before we cook some of our saffron also on the top. Okay, here some people, they like to add some butter, liquid butter or something like that okay. or just you can add just a liquid i mean just a cooking oil on the top just a little bit and put the high heat for about like a four or five minutes when you see all the steams coming then reduce the heat and put the kitchen cloth on the top of it with the lid and let it be there for another 35 to 40 minutes. Then your food is gonna be ready. You can make a few holes like this. Just the steam comes out to get evenly cooked. It, I think it's time for just put the kitchen cloth on it. So if you look at it, you know, just the steams is all over and uh, yeah it is so let's do that and then we're going to wait for
for 35 to 40 minutes and we serve the food here we go and that's the time to reduce the heat now to medium low and wait for it see you then okay guys this is our roasted noodle rice that it turns wonderful and beautiful it's really really delicious and uh, those are the extra uh, raisin that I kept it for the garnishment and also those are potato that I was talking about just put it on the bottom of the pan and it's nice crispy also is very delicious you can have that too and with any uh, rice that you make uh, you see we eat this with the pickled vegetable or yogurt or pickled pearl onion so it's your choice and taste what do you want to eat this with okay everybody thank you so much like always watching my video i really appreciate and uh, thank you again and thank you all the people that following me and give me some comments for the food that i make and uh, you know that i like you very much otherwise i would not do it so and also before i say bye i like to say happy new year to all iranian all over the world happy noruz eide shuma mubarak till next time with the new food bye